I'm picking the second one in, I'm not going for the middle. And I've got, it's actually, it's between the line. So it's oh, stripes. It's stripes. I think I'm going to go for the middle ground. Yeah, Let's have all right. A look. Uh, cocktail dress. Oh, a oh, stripy super. cocktail dress. Well, that could be pretty amazing. You have like some stripy sequins or something. That's it. And I actually have got something. Oh, you see, this was contrasted with something. Ah. If it was against the black even, or even a darker colour. That could be quite amazing, couldn't it? Yes, you have to think but stripes I, go this way, but you could wear you, it You could do way. both. You could have have them coming diagonally and then into the straight or, this is or very even contrast. It is, it's very subtle. Yes. It's like a sort of rose pink with a sort of champagne. <laughs> evening evening gown. So it's evening and cocktail. So we've got a grand dress on a, a sort of shorter, more acceptable. So sort I guess of you would go sequence for the shorter one and something flamboyant yeah. maybe Lifting for the stripes. The, yeah. That's it. They say yeah. bigger, bolder is better. So let's go with it. Yeah, you can't sit down. So with this, <laughs> with this skirt, when you mix the chul and the beads, uh, you could. It worked could. out really well, yeah, actually. I think so. so. It's a very subtle color, isn't it? Yeah, and it became instead of very bold stripes, we went for very understated. Soft, yeah. Yeah. I think this one for summer would be almost nicer because yeah, it has it's more brighter. gold going on. And it's certainly lots of fun. These color combinations, this dark brown, is very unusual, isn't it, with the red? But the red is shimmering. Yes. The lighter gold works very nicely with the summer season, but you can just as well keep this as your a little top to wear all year round. Yes, under same a suit. with the dress we were doing earlier. That it's such a piece you can wear all seasons around, and it's like your alternative to completely black. Mm. So if you're not planning to go out or you you dread going out, then <laughs> going with it's like neutral colors. Well, not exactly this one, but the previous one was more Having like drinks with friends at home. Yeah. yeah. Blending in, but well, this one is definitely standing this out. This skirt's a big stain. Oh yeah, and the fabric allows us to do that very, very easily. So a beautiful way to swim. You've done a great job as ever. And then you have black bodice underneath, and this would most likely be still looks nice against the skin as well. Absolutely, if you and had that it would lower. really bring in. And if it actually went to sweetheart lining of the yeah. black you could then have the lace on the skin so what about lines and stripes i can only think of sailors as the first ones to <laughs> sailors yeah, stripe. like those breton shirts which is very smart for the seaside yeah. navy blue and white or in northern france but it's never gone away that long no it's always the I suppose all these yacht people. Navy <laughs> blue, white and a little bit of red. Very yachty, yeah. They call it sort of uh, nautical. Nautical, yeah. yeah. I'm not really sure if there's anything else that really said, all right, this is, we're all about the stripes. This yeah. is where the stripes came from. Some other patterns you can trace back where it actually yeah, came you know, from. Please, please. Well, I, I think, you know, when you see gold and black like this, you think of Tutankhamun, Carmel, Headdress, you know. Oh, very Egyptian. Well, then it's 
ancient, not just historic. That's right, and that's a sort of a mammal in gold. But that would have yes. been a headdress in, in a sort of, um, possibly in a stiffer, a stiffer fabric, coming down and forming that in a stripe. And then it has a crown, most like a serpent. Uh, Cleopatra, <laughs> Tutankhamun. She was little. much later, of course, about sort of three or four thousand years. <laughs> four thousand. It was the end of the Egyptian line. I think she probably met her end in Rome. Rather sad. No, she she killed herself, didn't she? With an asp, a snake, before they broke down the doors to. They didn't get to take her away. Uh, she took she her live died. Elizabeth Taylor movie in the 60s. <laughs> and they had just recently actually, they changed the museum. Everything's changed, they've moved all the bodies, they had a procession. Yes, I they watched it online, them. it was very it was, beautiful. I think it was 10 to 12 pharaohs, mummies, yes. travelling through the streets to the, the new museum. It was very grand. It was interesting that when they started building the museum, they put mm. the biggest statue first ah. and then built the actual around museum the around it. Well, that saves a no big job, doesn't it? <laughs> and, and, you know, um, when they build the, the dam, they moved um, Ramesses' second tomb. They had to take it apart like a jigsaw and reassemble oh, wow. it, the army, the Egyptian army, in the 50s to build the Aswad Dam. So, because that was all flooded, that area. So there you are, it never stops changing.